The Golden Egg Book by Margaret Wise Brown Illustrated by Leonard Weisgard Once there was a little bunny. He was all alone. One day, he found an egg. He could hear something moving inside the egg. What was it? Maybe a little boy. Maybe an elephant. Maybe another bunny. Maybe a mouse. Who could tell what he would find? And how would a little bunny know? But there was something inside that egg. He could hear something moving. He shook it. Then the bunny pushed the egg with his foot. He jumped on top of the egg. He climbed a tree and threw nuts at it. He rolled the egg down a hill, but still it didn't break, and whatever was in the egg didn't come out. So the bunny threw a rock at the egg, but because he was only a little bunny, it was a very little rock, and he didn't throw it very hard, and the egg didn't break. Pick, pick, pick. Something was trying to get out of that egg. The bunny sat very still and watched through his shining eyes. He sat very still and listened with his big, soft ears. Pick, pick, pick. Then the little bunny began to yawn. And he yawned and he yawned. The egg was very quiet. He curled up all sleepy and warm close to the egg and went to sleep. He went to sleep because he was so sleepy. Then... Pick, pick, pick. And peck, peck, peck. And crackety crack. Out jumped a little yellow duck. Well, what is this? said the little duck when he saw the bunny. What could this little fur thing be? The bunny was very sleepy, so he was still asleep and didn't wake up. Inside the egg, said the duck, I thought I was all alone in a small dark world. Now I find myself alone with a bunny in a big bright world, and the bunny won't wake up. So the duck pushed the bunny with his foot. And jumped on top of him, and threw a little rock at him, and rolled him down a hill. And the bunny woke up. Where is my egg? said the bunny. And where did you come from? Never mind that, said the duck. Here I am. So the bunny and the duck were friends, and no one was ever alone again. Thanks for watching Hearts and Heroes. Like and subscribe for more read aloud books that delight and inspire.